after studying this module you shall be able to know the basic concepts of debt instruments learn the method of bond pricing understand the concept of yield to maturity critically evaluate various version of yield argue the relationship between bond price and return introduction the yield currency some basic concepts the debt instruments can be classified on the basis of their payment requirement being clustered into four types while in case of simple loans and discount bonds the payment is made at their maturity the payment of coupon bonds and fixed payment loans are made periodically until maturity simple loan a simple loan entails the return of principal plus interest rate at the end of maturity date back to the lender for a fixed amount principal borrowed fixed payment loan when a borrower has to return a fixed payment every month quarter or year till the end of maturity the loan is said to be fixed payment loan this fixed payment return is a sum total of component of both the principal and interest rate coupon bond A coupon bond is a bond where a fixed interest payment coupon payment is received every year till maturity year by the investor when the specified face value of the bond is also repaid back to the investor discount bond zero coupon bond as the name suggests a bond is purchased by the lender at a discount a price below its par value but is redeemed at its par value rendering profit at maturity the difference between the purchase price and the face value is the only income for the lender in this case and no interest coupon is received prior to maturity present value the present value concept consists assist the investor in measuring and comparing the interest rate offered by different debt instruments for making an informed investment decision also known as present discount value in economics can be defined as the present or current worth of future cash flow at a given specified rate of interest to estimate the present value the future cash flows are discounted at a given discount rate and higher discount rate for future cash flows results in lower present value the time value of money is attributed as the reason causing present value to be lesser or equal to future value and the time value of money states that the worth of rupees 1000 today is more than the worth of rupees 1000 one year from now bond pricing what is bond the instrument having long term maturity is issued as debt instruments either by government or by corporation to raise capital by borrowing from investors such as financial institutions are called as bonds in general bonds are a promise to repay the sum of principal and interest rate at a specified date of maturity in future what is bond pricing The present value of expected cash flow of a bond is known as the price of a bond. It is the amount that the investor is ready to pay for future cash flows generating from the asset. Also, present value of an asset say rupees 10 is always superior to its value at a future date. Thus, current price of a bond is equal to present value of its remaining cash flows in the above case with present value also the price of the bond being lower than its par value the bond is said to have been issued at a discount conversely if at any interest rate the present value of a bond had been higher than its par value then the bond would be said to have been issued at a premium and if the present value estimated has been equal to its par value then the bond is said to be issued at par bond pricing with the present value table instead of making a lengthy complicated calculation while estimating the present value using above mentioned formula which can pose a challenge in case of a long maturity periods of bond the present value table can also be used to simplify the calculations how to read the table 
the required rate of return is provided in column from top to bottom by the number of years to maturity is provided in rows from left to right let's read the above mentioned example thus the present value interest factor for r at 14% and t1 can be found by looking in column of 14% and row of 1 is equal to 0.8772 it reduces our calculation further in the following manner. Present value of a bond is equal to present value of coupon payment plus present value of principal payment. Present value of bond coupon amount multiplied by present value of interest factor R is 14% T from year 1 to 3 plus par value. Present value of interest factor R is equal to 14% T the third year. The present value of bond comes out to be 4535.3 rupees. Bond pricing of bonds with semi-annual payments. Most of the bonds available in the market are issued with semi-annual coupon payments. However, to calculate the price of the bond issued with semi-annual coupon payments requires the observation of certain guidelines. The semi-annual payment requires the division of annual payment into two equal half representing one coupon payment each period every six months. The annual discount rate also follows the same procedure to be divided into two equal parts defining period as a six months period instead of one year. In contrast, the number of period increases graphically from single to double. The number of period is multiplied by two. Yield to maturity. Yield to maturity is that interest rate which equates today's value of a bond with its present value of payment received. A negative relationship exists between the current bond price and the interest rates. Increase in the interest rate of a bond result in a fall in its price and vice versa. YTM on simple bond. The calculation of YTM on simple bond is similar to estimation of simple interest rate on loan being equal to interest payment divided by loan amount. For example, calculate YTM for a one year loan having present value of rupees 500 and future value of rupees 550. Solution F face value is equal to present value multiplied by 1 plus R interest rate raised to the power T. T is the time period of maturity. Future value 550, present value 500, T is 1, R is need to be calculated. So if we put all these numbers into the above formula, we came out with an R, R is equal to 10% which is nothing but yield to maturity. By TM on fixed payment bond. The same procedure is followed while calculating the YTM for fixed payment bond which is characterized by a fixed payment every month, every period throughout the life of the bond. Generally this type of loan involves monthly payments such as student loan, automobile loan and mortgage loan. For example, calculate YTM for a 10 year bond of worth $15,000 comprising a monthly payment of $170. Then, Value of the loan is equal to yearly fixed payment divided by 1 plus R where R is the interest rate or YTM raised to the power 1 where 1 onward is nothing but T life of the loan and so on. The last terminology is C divided by 1 plus R raised to the power T, T is the life of the loan. LV dollar 15,000, C is dollar 170, T is 10 multiplied by 12, 120 monthly payment period, R is unknown. If you put the numbers into above formula, you can solve it for R and the value of R turns out to be approximately YTM of 6.5 or 6.40. YTM on coupon bond. Since this bond differs from above two bonds in interest payment, its present value shall also differ accordingly. Its present value is the sum of present value of not only all the coupon payments but also the present value of its face value which is the final value of the bond. Say for example, if you have to estimate the present value of real estate bond worth rupees 1 lakh its face value offering a Yearly coupon rate of 8% regularly for a period of 20 years, the required rate of return YTM is 14%.
Thus, in this case, today's value of the bond can be expressed as PB you have to calculate, which is the price of the bond. The C is 8000. Future value 1 lakh, T is 20 years, R is 14 percent. If you put all these information in the above formula, this you will find the calculation gets simplified by using the present value table. The screenshots are provided in the section 3.1. The value of the bond becomes 60,265 rupees. Here the only difference is, please look at the equation. In the equation, Besides the annual payment of 8000, there is uh, one more payment in the last year which is the future value. Yield to maturity on discount bond. The YTM estimation for the discount or zero coupon bond resembles the coupon procedure adopted while estimating simple interest rate. For example, to determine the YTM of a UST bill of one year whose face value is 5000 being sold in the market for 4500, face value is equal to present value 1 plus R raised to the power T. The equation can be arranged to solve it for R and in this case R turns out to be 11.1%. Yield to call. Yield to call is a yield on the bond which are meant to be bought and held until the call date which happens to be a date prior its stated maturity date. The issuer holds the right to buy back or call back his issued securities prior to the maturity date as per call schedule. The yield to call can be calculated with the following formula present M is call price and N is the number of years until assumed call date and P is the price of the bond, R is the interest rate. Other kinds of yield. Although yield to maturity is regulated as the best method to measure interest rate, but sometimes it becomes difficult to estimate interest rate by YTM. Thus came to the rescue measures of interest rate like current yield and yield on discount basis which are relatively less accurate. Current yield. This method use it, uses current prices to estimate the yield on the bond. It is defined by the formula dividing yearly interest payment by the current coupon bonds. Features of yield curve. The estimation of current yield enhances when done for longer maturity bonds instead of shorter maturity bonds for which the approximation person, the market price of the bond is equal to its face or par value. Yield on discount basis. The estimation of pure discount instruments such as US issued T bills are different from US government bonds. Pure discount instruments involve return in the form of discount being the difference between purchase price at a lower value and face value higher value at maturity. Unlike other instruments, these highly liquid and low risk T-bills have a maturity of less than a year, months or 7 days, requires conversion to annual percentage to get a yield known as yield on discount basis or discount yield. The discount yield method varies from YTM method summarized as follows. Unlike YTM method that uses percentage gain on the purchase price of a bill, the discount yield employs percentage gain on the face value of the bill. It is distinct from YTM which considered 365 days forming a year by taking 360 days to form a year for estimating discount yield. Discount yield assumes that investors does not have any other investment option, thereby overlooking the potential for compounded returns to be taken into consideration. Relationship between coupon rate, required return and bond price. The price of a bond is strongly associated with its interest rate or yield. While the price of a bond represents an amount paid by an investor for its future cash flows, the yield embodies re required rate of return on those future cash flows. An inverse relationship exists between the bond's price and its yield. 
thus an increase in bonds yield leads to an increase in discount rate of its future cash flow resulting in the decline in price of the bond in yet another perspective discounts of a discount bonds depends upon the investor's required rate of return relative to its par value recall that discount on a discount bond is the difference between the purchase price and face value of the bond thus higher discount is required on a bond with particular face value to meet the investor desire for higher required rate of return on a bond correspondingly the following relationship exists between the coupon rate required return and bond price for any bond irrespective of their maturity period the present value or market price of a bond would be more than its par value corresponding to the coupon rate offered on a bond being more than the investor's required rate of return the present value and future value of a bond would be equal when the coupon rate and required rate of return on a bond is equal for example if the coupon rate and required rate of return matches at 10% for a bond worth rupees 1000 for 10 years then its present value will also be equal to its face value at 1000 the present value or market value of a bond would be less than its face value when the coupon rate offered on a bond is less than the investor's required rate of return for example the investors will spend only rupees 745 for a 10 year bond of rupees 1000 if its coupon rate at 10% is less than its required rate of return of 15% summary simple loan simple loan entails the return of principal plus interest rate at the end of maturity date back to the lender for a fixed amount borrowed fixed payment loan when a borrower has to return a fixed payment every month quarter or year till the end of maturity the loan is said to be fixed payment loan yield to maturity it is defined as the single interest rate at which the market price of a bond is equal to the sum of present value of its coupon and its principal payments